What's going on traders? My name is Paul. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a brand new and exciting update where we're going to be introducing you a very powerful one minute binary option trading strategy that we'll be teaching for the very first time here on this channel. Now, this is also considered a secret binary strategy for the fact that not many people are aware or even talk about this. And it's this very same strategy that allowed us to earn $1,000 in profit in this morning's early trading session. So in this video, we're going to teach you everything that you need so that we can identify profitable trade setups. We'll go over the live trading results from this morning session as well as additional insight so that way you can improve your overall win rate. So if that sounds good to you ladies and gentlemen make sure that you smash the like button subscribe and turn on notifications that we miss out on any of our future updates and for more information of our training community a place where beginners and struggling traders can learn and improve their trading skills in forex and binary options I'll leave that information down below as well as information on an automated trading system to help you earn daily profits to the global markets definitely check that out and without further ado let's roll the footage let's get to All right, traders, let's get started with the video. I'm excited to share this with you guys because this is a brand new binary option strategy that we are going to be introducing for the very first time here on our channel. And it's one that I don't think any other channel is talked about. Now, this strategy actually derived from a one minute forex scalping strategy that we just recently introduced here on our channel, which was a massive success. We got a lot of positive feedback as well as requests from many individuals asking if that forex scalping strategy can be applied for binary options trading as well. And I finally decided to use this strategy on a live session for binary option trading earlier this morning, which we will go over later on in this video. But it's from this strategy that we're going to be teaching you today that allowed me to earn $1,000 in profit with a 100% winning session for today so bear with us watch this video to the end so that we miss out on any important details and of course if you have any questions or need help feel free to drop a comment down below you can also email me directly anytime always happy to help now i do recommend because this is a brand new strategy for you know myself and for a lot of people who are watching this video make sure that you practice this thoroughly onto a demo account. As many of you know, my number one go-to broker for binary option trading is Quotex, which is what I've been using for the better part of almost two years. Um, and they do provide free $10,000 demo accounts, which you could use at any time, regardless if you have an account with them or not. So if you need a reliable broker or just want to use a demo account to, to backtest this strategy, I will leave the link down below in the video description. Now, the combination of indicators that we need to use for this strategy are actually not available on the binary broker platform. And they're actually not available in many other platforms out there. Um, so what we need to do is go here to trading view. All right. Whether you have a paid version or a free version, it's OK. This is something that you'll be able to use. And as you can see, we already have our charts laid out with the indicators that we need for the strategy. We have a 200 exponential moving average, which is this white line. And then this blue line that goes through our candlestick is what's referred to as the trend trader strategy and then we also have the sdc indicator so in order to add these indicators simply come here to the indicators tab to add the exponential moving average type in ema which stands for exponential or moving average exponential and then you're going to come to settings make sure that you go to inputs and change the length to 200 that way you have a 200 exponential moving average the next indicator that we need is called the trend trader strategy which is this one right over here by h potter all right so when you select that it's going to be this blue line that we see here through our Japanese candlesticks. These are going to be used as default settings. So there's no changes that need to be applied. And then the last indicator that we're going to need is called the STC, which is this one over here. STC indicator, a better MACD by Cheyenne KM. These are default settings. So no changes that need to be made. Now, when it comes to placing trades, the rules of this strategy and the combination of these indicators we're going to be using are pretty simple. First things first, we want to make sure that we are on a one minute time frame, which means that every candlestick you see here represents a one minute time period of price data. Now, if we're looking for sell trades, we need to make sure that price is below our 200 EMA. And after we have that first confirmation, the second thing that we need to wait for is for price to cross and close below the trend trader line as we see here with this candle. All right. So again, we see how market was above our trend trader line, came back down, and then we have our trigger candle, which is this candle that crossed down and closed below the trend trader line. This is what's referred to as our trigger candle. Once we have that confirmation, the next thing that we need to do is look at our STC indicator. When we're looking for sell trades, ladies and gentlemen, we want to make sure that the STC indicator lines are at the upper level of the graph, turning from green 
pink to red. And when we look at the point in time of this tr of the trigger candle, we can see that our STC line has turned from green to red. Once we have all three confirmations, we'd enter for a two to three minute trade. And as you can see in this example, this would have been a profitable trade. We also see that here as well. Price is above our trend trade line with green candles, and then it cross and close below our trend trade line. This is our trigger candle. We also see from our STC indicator, it's at the upper level of the graph, turning from green to red. So this is our trigger candle where we would enter for a two to three minute sell trade. Now for buy trades, it's the same rules, but obviously in the opposite direction. If we're looking for buy trades, the first thing we need to make sure is that market is above our 200 EMA. The next thing that we need to look for is waiting for the market to come from below our trend trader line, cross and close above it in order to create our trigger candle, which we have in this area. And then the last thing that we need to look for before we enter the trade is look at our STC indicator and make sure that the STC indicator changed from red to green from the lowest level of the STC graph. Enter here for a two, three minute buy trade. And as you can see, this would have been a profitable trade. Now, based on the rules that we just went over, you can tell that it is a very simple and straightforward strategy. However, it is very important that you only place trades once you have all three levels of confirmation. If you don't, it's best to just pass on that trade and wait till the next one. Now, unfortunately, when I was doing my live trading session, because I have a wide monitor here in front of me, I wasn't able to record the session because I had two different windows with my binary broker and my trading view chart that I was using to monitor trade setups. However, as you can see from our trading results, we basically targeted a majority of the trades for GBP USD with one euro USD position in the mix. And that was just based on the fact that those were the only setups that were available. Um, I wasn't able to record it, but I did take some screenshots of my trading positions that I had taken, which as you can see, led to a perfect 100% winning session with no losses. And again, earning $1,000 in profit. Now, I do want to clarify a couple of important things when it comes to this particular strategy, because during this morning session, as you can see from our trades, we targeted two minute trades, but there were some points in time during our trading positions that came very close, which would have been ideal if I had targeted maybe a three to five minute expiration time. So what I would recommend doing is that if you're going to backtest this strategy, I highly recommend that you backtest not only your favorite currency pairs, but also backtest at different expiration times, depending on the time of day that you are trading. And the reason why I say this is is because a majority of the trades that we targeted were GBP USD pairs. And as many of you may know, a lot of times GBP pairs can have a lot of large wicks and engulfing candles, which can make the difference between a losing trade or a winning trade within a fraction of a few seconds. Although we were successful targeting two minute trades, it would have been a bit more beneficial and not as stressful um, if I had targeted maybe a three to five minute trade. But if you're trading something that is less volatile, then two to three minutes would be ideal. But again, this is something that you need to do your own due diligence on with whatever currency pairs you're going to be trading. Now, there's one final important thing I do want to share with you before we close this video, and this is probably the most important part of it all, is remember, ladies and gentlemen, that it doesn't matter if you're trading binary options or Forex, make sure that you're combining any strategy that you use in addition to your market analysis, structure, and price action. When you do this, you're going to give yourself a statistical advantage of having a higher profitability. Just to kind of give you an example, based on the rules that we went over, here we see that market cross over and close below our trend trader line. We also have our STC line turning from green to red from the upper level of the graph. So based on the rules of the strategy alone, this is an ideal position to enter a sell trade. However, you'll notice that based on the chart, price ended up going back up. And the reason why that is, is because we are now sitting at a key level of support from a higher time frame. So it's really important that you combine structure and price action together with any strategy that you use, because as you can see, even though the rules of the strategy told us to enter a sell, we would know that this is a level of support that will most likely push price back up as it did. It did come down for a little bit, but even if we entered for a two or three minute trade, we would have lost this trade significantly due to the reaction of this key level. And again, when you combine these components together, you'll improve your overall profitability, which is a leading component as to why we were able to achieve a 100% win rate in this morning's binary session. Now, based on my experience with the strategy so far, as of now, I would still prefer this strategy on a Forex platform, but we will definitely be back with more updates in regards to this strategy on binary options as well. So 
So stay tuned and remember, ladies and gentlemen, to backtest this strategy thoroughly before you apply this onto a live account. So folks, that is our update for today. Hope you enjoyed it, this new strategy. If you have any questions, reach out anytime. And of course, don't forget to check out the information down below in regards to our trading academy, where not only do you get to learn how to trade Forex, but also binary options as well. And also access to a trading platform that allows you to earn automated profits through the markets. And remember that when it comes to trading the markets, patience is key. Wait for the setups to come. Make sure that you have all the levels of confirmation you need based on the rules of the strategy you're following. And of course, make sure that you apply it with price action and market structure. Take care. See you on the next one.